Look at this. Wow. Holy oh, moly. Can you show them that collapsed awning right there? Oh, wow. It was painted up like Texas, it looks like. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like Texas flag. wonder what happened. How did it just collapse on them? Was that wind? Hmm. So let's roll down through the main drag. There's some nice houses right here on this main street. Roll through the main drag. Take a look and see what is in Grand Saline. It is a railroad town. I'm guessing right around 1900, 1901. I think this is the same as all these little towns through here. I think the railroad came through in 1901. I wonder what this big old rock right here is with the memorial. I don't know. It's is got a historic salt market. Place. Oh, this is where they got all their salt. That makes sense. Grand Saline, right? Saline is salt, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Huh, I never thought about that, but I guess this is where the salt came from. Look, Salt Liquors is the name of that store right there. Yeah, I saw that when we drove past. Salt Liquors. Mm -hmm. What do we got here in the old town? Gifts on Main on the left. Massage therapy and a beauty shop. Barber shop. Internet cafe is open. Looks like um, a seafood restaurant was the salt liquors. Spa, cyber shop, internet, and networking. There's the Grand Saline Hall Inn. and Historic Inn. Huh. Neat. Old hotel, chiropractor, construction. Looks like all the Western Wear Museum. Oh no, it's just Western Wear. Oh, that is cool. What is all that? Oh, wow, that's all a bunch of pictures of it. Let's see if we can time. back up over here real quick. Back up, back up, John. What do you think? Is that pictures of Grand Saline or yeah. what? Can you show these people on the other end of our camera? That'd be pretty cool. Busy. Texas and Pacific Depot, 1912, up at the top. I think we got to get out and yeah. take a look around. Let's go for a walk, guys. I got a little bit of a glare on this one, I think. Maybe not. Not too bad. First block of Main Street, 1948. 1919 at the barber shop. Early dried goods store, 1912. Salt Festival, 1960. Demolition of the old Morton Salt Company smokestack. Okay, so this was Morton's, Morton Salt Company. Aerial view of Morton Salt Company. Is there any way to get rid of that glare? Not really. I don't think it looks like it's too bad. It is, I can see it. 1914 loaded peaches. The post office. Looks like they're remodeling this to make it a nice open venue. Working at a local meat company. 1950s. 1933 track champions. That's cool. The, rail, the short line railway, 1919. 1931 high school football and the old fire department. 1907. That is so cool. A horse drawn buggy. And Texas early and automotive Depot. garage in 1919 on the bottom. Did you sell them that one? The Every bottle of Coca Cola is sterilized. Busy day on the block of Main Street. Look at all them freaking people, man. That's a lot of people. 1912, wow. Did you see this one? The garage, automotive garage? Cool, 1919 auto garage. That's so cool. It is. 
I love old pictures like that. Old Indian costumes throughout the year. Track team and stuff. Oh, that's me. He's got the all the windows missing out of it up there. Open. The boutique and salon. Wow, that's nice in there. When it rains, it pours. Morton Salt. Oh, yeah, it's looking good in there. Fixing her up. What? Oh. Lens cover? It was fogged over. Oh, too cold. For sale or lease. Home of the Indians. Oh no. I don't know why I didn't connect the dots. I think we need to wait on Vanessa so we don't get the mics too far away. I didn't want to get too far away. You got my mics going, so you got to walk with me. I was trying to get the lens cover to get unfogged, but I think it's from the inner layer. Yeah, it's inside. You got to let it, it's got to balance out the temperatures inside. It Once it does that, it'll be good. I was trying to get a picture of the Morton sign. Yeah. I had to take it on There's my phone. There's another one up here. I just took it on my phone. Coca-Cola. Delicious and refreshing. Sold everywhere, five cents. Wish we could get some Cokes for five cents. Um, that would be awesome. I'd love a five cent Coke. For sale. It's got the high curbs. Granny and Poppies Antiques. Grand Celine Hall. Cash for Gold. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, that one's nice. Where are we going? I think we need to, oh, there's some kind of inn over here, right? Let's go look at this. We're supposed to stay up here, though, on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. I just walk in the street so I can get better pictures. Oh, I know. That's why you stand in the street. I stand in the middle of the street to get yeah. the best shot I can. Uh-huh. Grand Celine Historic Inn. So are these the rooms? I'm guessing, maybe. I'm guessing. Got an upstairs one. Private residence, keep off stairs. Oh, maybe. It's... Sammy's Beauty Salon. What is this one? Nothing. Do not block alley. Smile, lady. Just... Smile for me. No. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Can't believe our camera's still running. The cyber shop, hearing center. Let's walk. Salt liquors. 
looks like a Cajun restaurant or seafood of some yeah. kind. Genesis Home Care. Okay. Cash for gold. Hey, they have pink elephants down there. Snack bar. A pink, a pink elephant. Elephants. What's a pink elephant? Oh, a literal pink elephant. I see. Look, there's old Rexall drug. Come get a picture of that one. Old pharmacy sign. That's pretty cool. Coffee shop and museum. Look at pictures of me taking selfies. Pictures of you taking pictures? What about the mm -hmm. little baby elephant? You just gonna leave him out? Mm-hmm. Dang. Salty Cactus Boutique. Old City Pharmacy, coffee, and coffee Shop, and Museum. Cash for gold. But no cash right now, because they're closed. Austin Bank looks nice and shiny. Looks like they're the ones making all the money in town. Here we go. Back on the road. The salty 60s. The salty 60s. Yeah, if you press it all the way up to it, you get all the glare. Next weekend is their 49th annual Grand Saline Salt Festival, September 28th through 30. City of Grand Saline, Main Street. You got a little office set up in there, a little visitor office or something, or what? I'm not sure what's back there. Any more offices? City offices. All the all the Indian stuff. Yeah, the sports costumes. Sweaty. Just rolled out through town. Just rolled out from my parking spot after walking through town, and we've seen this building here with a whole bunch of trees on the roof. You want to show them that building? Looks like the tire shop's using it. Yep, best tire. They just don't want to get up there and take the trees down. This one's got lights on it. The feed hut. Feed hut. Barbecue. barbecue. Yum. Got the cow feed and the barbecue right there. Phew. Everything you need. Let's go see how people are living around here. What was that? Is that like a... I don't know. What was it? Let's I don't go know. see. I don't know what you saw. Uh, up on the hill on the right. Is some kind of business or... Yeah, I think it's a business. There's our train tracks. The good old train tracks. Vickery Street. We should have went down there. There's probably some good looking houses down there. Right by the railroad track. Cause this is what I saw. Public auction. Got a auction. Got some U-Hauls. Got some. The business is for sale. Everything's for sale. It looks like. We're out. Selling everything. What's down here? Wanna go that way? Got a car coming up fast behind us, so we gotta get out of the road. Let's find the road up here. This looks like it. Don't expect it to be very big. Um, that looks like a dead end road down there. It's an RV park in the middle of it. I was just looking for some housing, trying to figure out how all these folks are living over here. That road looks like it's not a road. It's just a little cut through. 
These people are going that way. Hurry up, go. Okay, good job. What do we got up here on the right? Jim Boy's barn's falling down. Is that Jim Roy's? Whatever it is, it's falling down. Oh, Jim Roy Bobson. Let's go down here and see if we can get down to the railroad tracks. I think we lost the railroad tracks. I think we did. Found Jack. What up, Jack? Halloween. Love it, love it, love it. No John, only Jack. Put you on a chain over here. Good place for him. Yep. Looks like he just wanted to run. Oh, like Fat Bob? Fat Bob, yep. Fat Bob was coming after us. Trying to take us out. Chew on our bumper. Crazy little dog. Till the lady came after him. She finally caught up with Fat Bob and got him. I didn't know she was chasing after us or I would have <laughs> stopped and, and let her chase, let her catch up. Oh, that's I was so just funny. trying to shake off Fat Bob and his friend. Oh my. What city was that? We had uh, some dogs coming after us and there was a lady running down the road trying to catch her dogs, but I was paying attention to not running over the dogs and I didn't realize the lady was chasing us down. It was either in Wills Point or in Edgewood. Yeah. I can't remember which. So they're living pretty free around here. Doesn't look Doesn't like look anybody like the, bothers anybody yeah. nice, quiet. Ain't no code enforcement harassing anybody around Got here. Got a horse think. hanging out here in the middle of his field. It's not bad, really. Well, nice, Grand older, Saline. quiet community is what it looks like to me. Morton Salt Mine. Never would have thought it. I don't know why that that did not click that Grand Saline was. Morton salt mine. It didn't click with me either. Yeah. Such a lazy pooch. He didn't, didn't need to get nothing. up. Didn't he even just, look over at he us. Did. Did he did. All he did is <laughs> sat up. He didn't even sit up. He just turned his head and looked and then turned back away. I'm going to show him what we got rolling through here. Let's give him a. Most of them are nice. No, we ain't got much, but. Let's give him a shot because that Nana glare. Nana and Paw Paws is what glare that, eats this me sign up. says. Every time I see the glare when I'm editing, I just want to trash the video. Oh, leases. Maybe not. What'd you come up with for Grand Saline? What'd you say? I said that the first settlers were the ancient Caddo and Cherokee Indian tribes who discovered and made use of the large salt prairies Ooh, sorry. south of town. Pulling out in front of people. Not really. They were actually turning. So the Indians found the salt mines? Yes. So somebody, and they Morton used... stole the salt mine from the Indians? Is that what happened? Oh, I don't know. It's just what it said before I clicked anything. Oh, Morton. What the hell, Morton? Did you steal that salt mine? <laughs> they used the evaporated salt from the brine streams that flowed over the flats as a commodity to trade with for other goods. Yep. Spices ruled the world for a long time, right? Spice yes, Road. Did. That was their currency back in the day. And we're in Van Zant County. Yep. And population 
was, did we get see the sign or? 3,000 something. I don't remember. 3,107. Let's see. We're going to turn down this way for a minute. Richie's. Looks like a popular spot. Richie's Bar and Grill over here. The Donut Palace. I'm ready for lunch, but Bar and Grill is not what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, might work. Lano's Pizza. You guys are everywhere. Alright. I think we're rolling out of Grand Saline, Texas. We are going to head over to Golden, Texas, which is right outside of Mineola. And we're going to see the hometown of Casey Musgraves. Cool, there's a tank. So supposedly over in Golden, Texas, Casey Musgraves purchased her grandmother's old house and painted it pink. So it should be pretty easy to find. We're going to go scope it out. We'll catch you on the next one. See you next time. Bye, y'all.